wonder how many animals are mistreated, whether it's at a slaughterhouse or even at an entertainment park. Do you know? Mm -mm. So as a member of society, like I witness even myself like dying to go to Sea World. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that wants to go to Sea World and wants the orcas, the sea lions, the dolphins and everything. And also as I'm one of those persons, those people that go to the market and buy groceries that are not organic just because it's cheaper. Just because it's cheaper. And I know like how they're I guess how the animals are treated, but you know, I have to save money. Okay. So first I'll be talking about like sea world and how animals are treated there and I'll give a brief explanation about a documentary called Blackfish and then I'll be talk about the slaughterhouses and then will inform you guys about free range farms. So SeaWorld was first um, opened in 1946 and it wasn't planned to be like an, an entertainment park. It was supposed to be a restaurant, an under the sea restaurant, which is pretty cool. But somehow it ended up being an entertainment park where millions of people go. There's three in the US. There's one in Texas, one in Florida, and one here in San Diego. Okay, so SeaWorld owns 24 orcas, and most of them were captive orcas. If you guys don't know what that means, it's like when they get them from the wild, and they make them like, um, like they make them live in a limited amount of space at the time. So I don't think anybody wanted to be like limited to a space when they're supposed to be like in the wild. Okay. So after watching a documentary called Blackfish, like it opened my eyes it showed me the true colors of Sea World. It's not that fun. Well, it's fun for us, but for the animals that are kept in tents, it's not so fun. And it's pretty sad because some of them drown <coughs> themselves. They're they go through depression, and it's really like they're not. They're really not supposed to be in tents. Okay, so slaughterhouses. The majority of our food aren't organic. All of like the chicken, the cows, pigs, you name it, whatever. They're injected with hormones. If you guys like, I don't know if you guys see McDonald's, but if you see the chicken nuggets, they look deformed. They look ugly, and it's because they inject chickens with hormones that'll make them so rapidly and sometimes they end up dying because they can't walk to get food or water. And they never see the light, neither do pigs nor cows because they're kept in small cages and they, well, they don't go out in the open or anything like that. So cows are kept in a small amount of space where they can move and nobody cleans after like you know they like the I guess that's how you call them. So they're literally there in just a plain land with what they let in. And it's disgusting because it's hot and they can't move or anything like that. And pigs, they're skinned. So you know she travel on this and all of that. <laughs> and also um hens like they're injected with hormones, so I think they're just more eggs. So if you compare, if you compare a uh, chicken from like a ranch to a chicken in a slaughterhouse, you'll like see that the one in the slaughterhouse, um, they have more eggs just because they're injected with hormones and everything. So 
I didn't know that it was delivering forms. I had no idea they existed. So, you know, I would go a uno de los hispanos family que me huevos especiales, because, you know, the canteras de huevos are like, what, two for four, or not expensive, but it's like, they're expensive and they're not even organic. So it's kind of sad how we're paying for that, and the animals aren't even treated correctly. So in the free range farms, they, they do die, I'm not gonna lie, they die, but they just have like a better, they live better. They, they're not kept in small cages, like they're allowed to go into um, like the fields and everything, and it's way better, like yeah, we're gonna pay more, which I know we don't want to, but we're gonna pay more, but it's better for the animals, it's just not just for them, but for ourselves, because we also consume those um, hormones and everything that they're injected with. 